He's got a lot of great tools in his kit to end your stock early, and he has the tools to put on the damage. Yeah, that, the Nair, it's particularly that, that Nair. Oh, we saw what the Nair can do at Genesis. We saw what the Nair can do at Genesis. Ooh. Gnarly move. It really just isn't an enigma who's, who is Audi going to play. He, like, he could just hit random and he'll be fine. But I think we're going to yeah, see the Byleth. Yeah, Byleth, all right. Oh, the Edelgard skin. Oh, Black, yeah, you're good. Black Eagles is all right. Personally, more the uh, Golden Deer kind of person, but it's just me. Like, oh, okay. I like Claude is... and his wacky frat boy adventures. <laughs> but Audi going to be using Byleth. First Byleth we've seen in a non Byleth ditto. Going in Smash or going on Smashville here for game one. I see. I'm curious how Audi's going to approach this, considering he is, you know, he, he's a resident Fire Emblem main. Yeah, so. but uh, Wario, known for kind of stubby hitboxes, Byleth has those huge Texas-sized hitboxes. Exactly. So, so going to be using a lot of those to keep Wario out. Using that neutral layer. Neutral layer is a really good move. I mean, it's a little bit inconsistent, but it sets up tech situations, sets people on platforms. Right. It's a super great combo starter, and it's you great. Can't just... You can't drag down with it. Oh, you if can. You, if you land before the last hitbox yep. comes out, you're not going to get all the advantages you're talking about. So yeah, you but really you can have to still get, get some. There. You can still get some like conversions. Like I did see drag down air and a forward tilt earlier today. Oh, okay. So you should act quick. Yep. Ooh, and that bike against that tether recovery is actually going to be working wonders for Snowman. He tried to uh, get a gimp there, but not able to find it. But he's still well, in control of the stage. Yeah. I just say the the few matches I did get to play against, like just just playing like the bio the CPU, the the recovery seems so. It's huge. Untouchable. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, you really gotta take the jump. Yeah, and you don't want to be risking it, because again, if you get spiked up being above like about 80%, you're gonna get spiked. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna die. I think I saw a video where it was uh, if you're if you're af if you if you get hit by it and you're above 50%, then it'll spike you. Okay, and then that down smash. Okay, it's all so for, strong. All of her downward moves are it's crazy strong in terms of shield pressure. The down air can kill so early. Well, it's like it 110. It's off half your shield health, too. Even right? that arrow is really good. A fully charged arrow is going to just deplete your shield. Even the non-fully charged arrow is, like, maybe not a quarter, but it's a good chunk of your shield. Yep. Like a and then an eighth. Like there's the, the, the kind of, you know, more of a meme move, that downbeat. That will break a full shield no matter what. You you really got to, like, the other person's really got to panic for you to hit that, though. Or a shield break, yep. you well, know, unless you... But obviously then, the really yeah, look at right that there. landing down air. That just exploded Wario off the top. I don't believe that was the sweet spot. I was just saying, exactly. I don't even think you need the sweet spot to... Like, you don't need to... It doesn't need to be good timing on it. You no, just need and the there's right also percent. just a giant hitbox on Violet's body when you use that down air, and that thing will kill you at about 100%. Right, you gotta respect it. So it's a crazy strong move. Crazy good option. And, like, Violet out of shield actually has some sauce. You got that neutral air, and, and like, up out of shield one. actually is okay. It's not the fast option, but... It's, it's not a command grab, right? It's just a... No, it's a hitbox, essentially. Okay. It's not like Joker's grapple, where it's kind of like a grab. It's just, um... And even that, that really isn't a grab, but, like... Oh, my it God! It has a starting hitbox that converts... Dude, he's, exactly! You can't yeah. shield that, or you're gonna get you know? shield broken. Well, and That's... his shield's already depleted, and Audi can just go for options like the down smash, like, you know... Uh, even forward smash is a lot of shield damage, too. It's so strong. The... Uh, the, the like, look at that! That was great space that's, to get in the tipper. That's, well, yeah, here comes the, here no! comes the move! The, no! Hatchet Man! Yep, Hatchet Man, but better oh. with armor and the ability to reverse it and drop through platforms. Right! Oh, you can drop through platforms? Yeah, it's like Hyrule's Blunderbuss. Oh my god. While you're holding it, you can drop. Oh, that's actually pretty hype. It is a crazy good move. You know, as much as I, like, I was one of those people that was like, dang, another Fire Emblem character? Come on. This is, a, like, Violet actually pretty hype. Yeah. Not just a clone. No, the character's got a very interesting kit. I mean, it's a little bit kind of like wonky with how it works together, but like you have some cool, fun moves in there, like that Nair, like the, all the downwards moves. And Audi's showing us just how crazy those downward the options downward can moves, be. The downward moves, dude. The down smash is so strong. It's just everything's so strong. Yep. Town is the counter. I like this from Snowman. You do want to be camping out Byleth, because she is not the uh, fastest character in the game. But is she the slowest, or no. is the Cinderor slower? No, Cinderor and Robin, I believe, are still slower. <laughs> all right. Well. At least second slowest. Yep. Okay. Well, like you gotta be careful, with, like plat camping this character because she does have a lot of options to hit you off those plats. That up air is really good. Nair's is really good, and yeah, of course up air can kill surprisingly early. Yeah, and it's a huge lingering hitbox that mm -hmm. just kind of pulls you in. And then up smash, same thing. Up smash, really strong. It, I kind of think of uh, Violet's up smash as like a junior version of ZSS's. Right. It has that same scooping hitbox. Doesn't go but as high yeah. though. But it still covers a good amount of space and can. Oh really my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, he he was went playing for with fire. It all. At least he had the mind to like try and maybe spot dodge it because you do not want to shield that. Oh, that no. will rip your shield apart. Yeah, well, it's, I think 
after he spots out, she's like, yeah, I'm just gonna get out of range. You're getting the tipper back air on that up B there. Audi oh taking the first stock here in this game too. I feel like this, like, I've heard someone else saying, like, Byleth edge guarding would be crazy just because of the spear moves. And then even we saw it last game, you can just kind of, you know, jump down air. Mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be the sweet spot. It can just be no, she has a lot of down air <laughs> disjoints for that off stage play. And even that side B, like, look at the side right, B. It hits so space. far up. It's such a good anti air. Yes, no man's finding a hard time getting in here. I will say the, the one thing about that up B on stage though is I one of the things I, I was I was watching like I knew a couple of videos I watched on Violet. Some people were saying that like once you hit that 50% threshold and your opponent gets sent down instead, you don't really want to do it on stage because you're just putting yourself in disadvantage then above them. Yeah, unless they di it improperly. Ooh. And depending on the character, you know maybe you want them above. Yeah, you. or if you have a platform below you, then you can get follow ups a lot easier with the platform below you. Right. Otherwise, yeah, you gotta be careful with it. Yeah, I mean, we're like I was saying earlier, the snowman's one really big problem with war as Wario is killing, and we're kind of seeing that uh, come true. But then again, against Byleth, it's definitely not easy to get in, let alone land a kill move. I think the uh, your Wario actually neither Wario. Warrior's back throw is not going to kill, right? No. Okay. His forward throws is killing one. Okay. Kind of yeah, and then I'll say Byleth also doesn't really throws have really not yeah. that good. M maybe like up yeah. throw will kill. Wario's main kill option at that point is just to look for that forward tiller that uh, the back dash air. attack. Or, or, back or air, the dash yeah. attack, yeah. So his primary just like, you know, kill options to kind of throw out and get away with. But we do have the waft online for Snowman. I will say, I also he's do like, there. now I mean, now that the the chips are down and the game's on the table. He's, oh, oh, did he? Okay. He just went up. That wasn't even the sweet spot. Yeah, and it still killed. He was way down there. I'll say, I did, I, I'll say, I did like the way Snowman was starting to like, okay, I've really got to respect this character. 